tell you what it is. September 10th, 1997, Michelle Murray was giving birth, my older sister, and she lost a child at birth, stillborn, a son. And he passed that day. And I was asked to be not only the only pallbearer, but I was asked and they named him after me. And I was in college and I had no money. But those of you who know me know that I have a double major in religious education and graphic design. And this is a copy of an original that I made for my sister with pen and ink one night. Pen and ink drawing 18 by 24, sat down and I drew this picture for her. Image by image, starting from the side and working, cross hatching, stippling, and doing all this art. And on the day of the funeral, I gave it to her and said to my sister, I don't have anything, but what I can give you is myself. And what I can give you are my talents. And what I can tell you is that every time you look at this, know that there's someone praying for you. And every time you look at this, know that this was made out of hard work. The story of this is from Albrecht Durer in the 1500s. His parents could not afford to send both of his sons to school. So rolling a game of dice, Albrecht Durer won. And going out of the mines, he went to art school. And for four years, he thrived. And everyone knew his name. When he became successful, he came back home and told his brother, I want to pay for your way through school. His brother said, I can't. Look at my hands. They're all worn and withered. I cannot do what you have done as much as I want to. So to pay homage to his brother, he, he took a, a sketch of his hands. And then he carved them. And he titled them, The Hands of Hard Work. So as you look out there, you're like, oh, that's the praying hands. You know, all those, you know, the Christians, they look at this as the apostles' hands. But in reality, this was paid out of sacrifice, out of love for a, for a sibling. And that is why it's behind me, because it reminds me that not only does hard work get you places, but a side of prayer will take you further. And I think that is, regardless of your denomination, that's what we need this year. Hard work, use our hands, and sacrifice for others by doing things that maybe you've never done before. I'm not saying taking your safety. I'm saying thinking differently, working differently. That is what it's going to take to get through this school year. Whether we are in orange, yellow, red, purple, or blue, who would have thought that last year, that a year ago, that I'd be, or a year later, I'd be saying things like that? We have adapted. We've adapted so well by force over the years. Think about the last eight years of things that we had to do together. And think about all the changes that you've had to go through. This is a tsunami of education, but it is a shared experience. Everyone in this world is going through this. The difference here at Chardon, we've been there. We've done that. And we will succeed because we know how to work together. That is what we're going to have to do to make this year successful. And I promise you, if we do that, we will be. But it's not just our work. It's Johnny, it's Jill, it's all those kids that come in our classroom. It's having them understand their part in this sh shared responsibility. 